Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and welcome to laundry day. My name is Sarah. So today's video, as you can see, is a laundry motivation video. I let my laundry pile up a little bit too long. So now I'm stuck with dealing with all this laundry. As a family of five, we definitely have tons of laundry. So there's never a day without any laundry to do. So if you do enjoy today's video, please give a thumbs up as that does help my channel a lot. If you do enjoy today's video, along with the content you see here on my channel, I would love if you consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. So if you get that red subscribe button and the notification bell to so miss any future videos from me. So our laundry room is in the basement and we have a two-story house. So once I get all the laundry down the both flights of stairs, I first want to sort it in piles of lights, darks, and colors. Now there are times that some of the colors end up in colors or darks depending on how I feel. Like there's a blue pair of shorts here of my husband's. They went the colors, but sometimes they go with the darks. So it just depends on the quantity of laundry I have. So I like to get all these sorted in piles and then I get everything started. So once I get everything started, then I just um, set my timer upstairs on my Google Home Mini because I can't hear the music sound that comes off the washer and dryer when they're done. So I just set the timer for about an hour and 10 minutes because it's usually roughly how long a load takes. And then I'll come down and switch it. But I like getting everything sorted ahead of time because then I have an idea of how many loads I'm going to have to do. And it's just easier when it's all in different piles separated in the laundry room. And you got me too. We can always make it through. What we do is what we do I can take you anywhere Somewhere We won't be scared You will see me flying high I'm staring into your blue eyes We don't need nobody else I got you and you got me too So yes, I am wearing different clothes because it is the next day. By the time this load finished in the dryer, it was probably around 10 o'clock last night and I didn't really feel like coming down to grab it because I also knew that I wouldn't be folding the laundry. So I'm going to grab this load, take it upstairs and get it all folded. I'll be sharing you guys the motivation to get your laundry folded. And, but I'm not going to be showing me putting the laundry away just because there's a lot of different rooms I'm putting the laundry away and just it's a lot of work to film it. So in the meantime, let's get this laundry upstairs so hopefully I can get it folded sooner rather than later because my stuff's already been sitting in the baskets since yesterday and in the dryer since yesterday. So it's probably getting a little bit wrinkled, but that's just reality because I just didn't really feel like doing it last night. So at least it wasn't sitting in the dryer though. <laughs> And one thing, uh, one thing I want to show you guys in a future video is how to clean out this part of your dryer. Um, we did it, I don't remember the last time we did it, it's been a while for sure, but there comes a point in time when like now this thing I put it in and it doesn't actually go all the way down just because there's too much lint at the bottom and you can't get all of it out. So I'll do a separate video at some point where we show you how we take it apart and how actually easy it is to take apart to clean it. So I'll definitely share that with you guys at some point on my channel so definitely stay tuned for that. I don't know exactly when because I don't know when we're going to get this cleaned. Hopefully we'll get this cleaned um, later in July or early August but it definitely needs to be done soon because now I have some clothes and stuff that are getting caught on the lint holder because it sticks out slightly so that's a good sign that it's time to get it cleaned up. So 
real life moment. Yes, it is now a different day. Although I think I'm actually wearing the same clothes as yesterday, but that's besides the point. So I got the laundry out of the dryer yesterday and then I just ran out of time to actually sit down and fold it. So here I am now, day three, finally getting all this laundry folded. I have these two baskets I just dumped here and I have one more. So usually when I fold laundry, I usually watch some TV and I'm trying to do it right now while my boys are still sleeping. My daughter's the only one up right now. So I'm trying to get this done so I can get it all put away because tomorrow I'm gonna be doing laundry again. It just never ends. This is real life though, where I had planned to get all done on Tuesday and here I am Thursday, still not done. <laughs> so let's get all this folded because we got lots to do. And then quickly here, like I said before, so when I, I usually like to organize things in baskets, so I'll put all three of my kids stuff in this one basket and then mine and my husband's stuff in this other basket. And then I have a third basket I can use as I run out of room. So let's get this done. When I'm sleeping with someone new I just close my eyes and think of you so when I'm folding laundry, I love watching TV. That's usually what I do. But let me know in the comments below. Do you like to listen to a podcast, listen to some music, watch some TV? What do you like to do to keep yourself occupied while folding laundry? Because it's a bit, you know, re repetitive and not that exciting to do. So let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite TV shows or must watch shows or bingeable, easy to watch shows. Some of the shows I like to watch over and over again um, are Gilmore Girls, Big Bang Theory, Friends is a definite classic. I love it. I can watch that a million times over. Plus my favorite part about Friends is that I don't have to think about it when I watch it, like watch it, actually physically watch it. I can have it on the background. I know exactly what's going on. I can envision every scene, probably because I've seen it one too many times. Um, Gossip Girl, Sex in the City, New Girl. I also love a lot of reality shows, so I love like the competition type, like Survivor, Big Brother, Amazing Race. I also love the stuff on Food Network, such as Top Chef. Um, and then I also love HGTV shows, like Island of Brian, all these renovation type shows. I like watching some YouTube, so I get some cleaning motivation stuff from YouTube. And I also love watching like travel vloggers on YouTube as well. I found some really, really great ones. Karen and Nate are some really great travel vloggers. Um, I also love Van Wives, they're from Canada and they've been traveling in a van and now they just bought some property out east so I'm really excited to watch their journey there. Um, I also love going on Disney Plus and watching some older 90s sitcoms like Boy Meets World and stuff. They saw a lot of really good shows from when we were younger so it's kind of fun to watch stuff like that. I also love criminal t crime type shows such as CSI or Criminal Minds. My husband and I just finished watching Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. It's only two seasons on Disney Plus and it was really really good. And then other shows we've watched, my husband and I binge 911 and 911 Lone Star on Disney Plus, so we're all caught up as far as what's on there. Both really, really good, highly recommend them. And then of course, I love Grey's Anatomy, um, Station 19, I love ER, I'm so excited because ER just started, just came onto Prime, so now I can watch all 15 seasons on Prime, so I'm really excited for that. So yeah, I like some medical dramas, some crime shows, some reality, YouTube, some comedies, I have quite the variety on my list, so I don't really have a set genre that I'd like. And I'm definitely one that if I find a really, really good series um, that's easy to watch, I will definitely probably watch it again. I know my mom doesn't understand how I can watch, you know, a series again, but it just depends on the series. Like Friends, I can watch again because it's just as funny as the last time I watched it. Um, so yeah, I'm curious if you have any recommendations down below or if you're, um, you know, if you're curious of stuff that I watch, what I like about them. Ask me in the comments below. Um, it's always fun to hear what other people like as far as movies and TV shows and sometimes nice to find some new stuff to watch. Alright, 
so the laundry is all finally folded it's ready to get put away and I don't know how much more real I can get with you guys but that took me three days to do all that just because life gets busy I'm a part-time working mom of three so between hanging out with the kids and their home for the summer and just getting other stuff done around the house sometimes laundry gets neglected I have times where I'm totally on top of it I do a small load every day and it makes it like so much easier but then there's other times I just forget about it and watch the pile get bigger and bigger and bigger and finally I'm like I gotta get this done so I hope today's video provides you with tons of laundry motivation or even motivation to get something else done in your house. If you do enjoy today's video, please give a thumbs up as it does help my channel a lot. If you did enjoy today's video on the content you see here on my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. I appreciate all the support as I try to grow my channel and provide you guys with tons of motivating content as well as a little bit of camping stuff as well because we're getting into the camping season and we got a trailer this year. So I'm really excited to share all that with you. So you've seen some of that mixed in amongst my normal content so thank you so much for clicking on my video today and watching it and sticking around with me and I'll see you in the next video bye